Hi Libra, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Libra, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless and my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to the week is the tower card. So remember the tower card is big, shocking revelations, usually that show up. Now, the thing about this card is it usually shows up to show you when an illusion is about to crack. And what I mean by this is something that you have bought. This could be uh, a lie. It could be, um, you know, maybe even something that you've convinced yourself is true about you. Maybe it's some, somebody else's thoughts or opinions about you that you've bought into. And the tower card shows up to, to show you, like literally this is coming to an end. And when it hits, it's usually quite disruptive because it's like, wow, you know what? I believed that for years or, um, you know what? I have held true to that belief for years or, you know, this thing that somebody told me, uh, you know, I just bought because of who this person is in my life. So it can be very disruptive. But the thing about the tower card is once it's done its thing, once it's worked its uh destructive mojo let's say it's always liberating and in hindsight we come to see that it really is the best thing that could have happened for us so in all of these sectors of your life this week there are going to be some revelations there are going to be some moments that kind of make you take a step back and say wow okay you know what i didn't think about this from that perspective if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves show. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, and it resonates, hit the subscribe button. For your actions and options, you've got the Three of Swords. So there is a release point here. Um, the Three of Swords coupled with the Tower is not easy. And the Three of Swords is in your actions and options. So this is about what you do. This could literally see you breaking ties or cutting um, the bonds or the cords between you and another person. So on a more sort of esoteric level, this could be uh, maybe you're doing a cord cutting or a cleansing of an old relationship or a past connection. On a more sort of interpersonal day-to-day -day level, this could literally see you... Um, maybe breaking ties with a friend, uh, maybe releasing somebody that you, you know, maybe even be a, a family member. Like this could be a moment at which you say, you know what, this connection, this interaction has served its purpose. I'm not doing this anymore. And it's you leading the way with that. Now it is the three of swords, which suggests that you are making the cut. And then with the tower card there, this is almost like it may be a knee-jerk reaction, but it may be in response to something that you either can't abide or can't get on board with. Um, for your communications and conversations, you've got the Four of Wands. Okay, so look, there is a surprise invite, and for some of you, there's also pro possibly a surprise engagement. I wouldn't be surprised if once you start making these cuts, whatever they might be, um, you start getting invites for new things or new opportunities start to show up for you. That four of wands coupled with the tower card as well. If you are going to any events this week, um, just be mindful about the transport, like how you're getting there, how you're getting back, because um, there could be some form of a disruption. Now, that being said, you've got the, um, for those of you that are studying, or I mean, the four of wands in terms of your communications, it's actually really good, but it's very fair weather. If you're hoping for deeper connection or deeper sort of, um, <coughs> excuse me, if you're hoping, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if you're hope, sorry, if you're hoping for a deeper sort of, um, uh, level of conversation it's not available to you which I actually think is probably a good thing given the fact that you are already processing quite a lot on a deep level um, now that being said 
the tower card with the four of wands could literally be like a surprise that comes out of nowhere that is actually really beneficial for you so it does have a lighter side as well for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia it looks like you could be partying really hard this week so just you know obviously keep it in moderation um for those of you that are employed by somebody else this could be a cut or a change to your work that you're actually really happy about. So maybe your boss comes to you and says, oh, you know, this part of your job or uh, this part of our department is actually going away or it's being merged with something else. So it actually makes your life a lot easier. It may, however, be something that you've become quite accustomed to. So there will be an adjustment because it is the tower after all. When it comes to your... Um, Oh, come on, brain. When it comes to your, those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves. Um, I mean, I like it in that this could be, again, a surprise opportunity, but it's, it's likely to come with some sort of separation anxiety because you've got that three of swords there. So it's like, maybe this comes in, maybe you get a new client, maybe you get a whole bunch of new clients, but you're having to almost like take things in a new direction uh, or maybe you're having to change locations or maybe you're having to adapt the work that you do to fit this new clientele or, or maybe even a new a, a new space um, for those of you that are retired and no longer working I mean I like it just because it looks like you're enjoying yourself more but this is kind of like a uh, knee-jerk re reaction it's like well you know what all of this crap's happening I'm making these cuts I'm letting this thing or these people go or I'm letting go of this thought pattern or this thought process and now because of that you know what I'm just going to enjoy my life um, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of righteous anger every so often all right the thing that we need to really normalize in life is that all emotions are valid all right we're allowed to feel how we feel we can't just it's just that we can't um stop and unpack there and have that one emotion kind of lead our entire lives okay it's, it's good to have a range of them and it's good to acknowledge that you feel how you feel for your love and relations you've got the three of pentacles what do we see here you have two threes two threes is a calming influence so for those of you that are partnered married or in long-term commitments it's your partner it's your relationship that is teaching you this week how to navigate what could be a little bit of a challenge it's your partner your relationship that is providing the steady hand on the tiller this is you know effectively your other half saying you know what have your mini freak out I got this, we're gonna be all right, okay? So I actually really like that. With the Three of Pentacles and the Tower though, um, this could also be something that a partner or a significant other shares with you that makes you realize where the next set of work needs to be done, not necessarily on the relationship, but as you two as an item, like what is the thing that you're gonna be facing next together? For those of you that are single, it wouldn't surprise me if you're meeting somebody in a learning situation, uh, maybe you're deciding to go back to school, maybe you're taking an online course, you know, all of that kind of stuff is, is possible. Um, but it's like you're interacting with people that are stimulating your mind and one of them may stand out for you. Uh, with the tower card in tow, it might be a real surprise to you who the person is or maybe even what they do for work. For your money and materials, you have the Four of Swords. So two, threes and fours, that's what you have this week, right? Really interesting. Uh, two fours can represent insomnia. You've got this with the tower card. So I'm gonna say that this week, probably a lot of your best ideas are gonna come at night. So just as you kind of lay down in the bed and you think, right, you know, it's been a long day, whatever, it's time to sleep. And your brain's like, oh, no, 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 honey. <laughs> you better get up because we've got stuff to do. Um, if that is the case and it takes you by storm and you feel that kind of discomfort, get up and follow it. Get up, get out a pen and pad, write down everything that comes to mind and then go to sleep. If you lay there and convince yourself, I've done this so many times, that you're gonna remember that amazing idea that you had tomorrow morning, not gonna happen, it'll be gone, all right? So do something with it while it comes. Um, and if you're already gonna be having a little bout of insomnia, why not get something decent out of it? Now, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, the Four of Swords is really kind of saying to you that this week is probably a good time to rest. 
um, you know, and this is the thing. So when I went, this is, uh, I'm quite proud of myself for this, for working this out while I was having, while I was having sat in transit my 12th house, um, sleep is elusive, right? If you haven't sat in, tra in transit through your 12th house right now, um, I feel you and I absolutely feel for you because it's, it for me, sat and moving through the 12th was really hard. Uh, and I just wasn't sleeping at night. Like I would wake up at like three, four a.m. and just have these like, oh, anyway, I won't go into it. But so what I did was I built into my daily schedule time where I could literally either just meditate or sleep for an hour, all right? I built naps or rest moments into my day so that I could alleviate the fact that I wasn't sleeping. And I made that, because it's Saturn after all, I made that a very serious part of my day. Like, uh, just how I have to get up and go to work and do this, this, and this. I also have to take that hour to make sure I catch up on my sleep or to, to, to rest or to meditate. Approach it really seriously this week and you might be able to claw back some of that um, rest energy. Now, when it comes to your uh, home and environment, the Four of Swords coupled with the Four of Wands, that could actually be a really nice get together that happens very much by surprise. Um, I wouldn't be, so. I, I, yeah, don't be surprised if you're surprised about a get together. So this could be maybe people invite themselves over that you haven't seen for the longest time or it just happens organically and you're like, yeah, you know what, that was actually a really nice evening. Um, the conversation will flow, it will be easy, it won't be hard. Everybody will just be in the space that they need to be. And then finally, when it comes to your money, I know that's a lot, a lot of you are like, come on, Raph, get to the money. <laughs> your money, look, it's the Four of Swords. Money may be a little bit slower this week, but because you've got the Four of Wands and the Tower, the cuts that you make on an inter interpersonal level this week will facilitate you making more money moving forward. This is one of those moments where you're having to empty the cup in order to have it refilled in some way. And I actually feel like it is, you might come to realize that it's a person that has been holding up your resources all this time. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.